In this video on calculus, we will introduce what is integration. Integration is the opposite process to differentiation. It is sometimes also called the antiderivative and it is written in this function. This symbol here is the integration. fx is the function and you must put the dx because you are integrating with respect to x. So the rule of integration is as follows. You integrate x and dx. What happens is that you increase the power of x by 1. So x becomes xn plus 1. And then you divide by the power n plus 1. And you must add the constant c in any integration. So without further ado, let's do 6 examples. And before long, you should be able to do simple integration quite fast. Okay, let's look at the first example. Integrate 6x squared dx. And we shall do that now. Okay, so what you do? Very simple, you are going to integrate straight away. So 6 remain, x squared, the power increased by 1, so becomes 3, and then you divide by the power, divide by 3, and you just need to plus c. Okay, and now the next step, you just simplify 6x cubed divided by 3, is going to be 2x cubed plus c, and that is how you integrate that expression. Okay. Now we proceed. Now a slightly longer expression. And this time you have three expressions. So we're going to integrate each one of them separately. So the first part, you're going to put the equal sign. 3, x squared becomes x cubed. And then you divide by the power, which is 3. Then the next expression, next term, is going to be 1 here. So it becomes 6x squared. 1 becomes 2. And you divide by 2. And then minus 5 is going to be just minus 5x. And don't forget your c. Okay. Why is it 5x? Because x power 0. So it's just going to be x. The 0 becomes the 1. And you divide by 1, you can 5x. So you simplify the equation. It's going to be x cubed plus 3x squared minus 5x plus c. So that is how you integrate an expression. Okay, let's proceed to harder examples. The next example, we have integrate x bracket x plus 1 dx. Okay, first thing before you integrate, you have to expand this expression. It's going to be x squared plus x dx. Now, once you have done that, it's going to be simple. So, x squared is going to be x cubed over 3. x squared is going to be x, I mean x is going to be x squared over 2 and don't forget your c and this can't be simplified and that will be your answer. Next expression. So again, before you integrate, you need to simplify that. It's going to be x squared divided by x is going to be x. 5x over x is going to be 5. dx. And then you're going to integrate now. Okay, x becomes x squared over 2. 5 become 5x and then you plus c and that will give you the answer. Okay, now we proceed to the last two, the hardest of the lot. Okay, so you have minus 5 bracket x squared plus 2x dx. Again, you need to expand it. So it becomes minus 5x squared minus 10x dx. Okay, now the last step you're going to Expect, uh, integrate, so this becomes minus 5x cubed, 2 becomes the 3, and you divide by the 3, minus 10x squared over 2, because x becomes x squared, divide by 2, and you must plus c, okay? And now, you simplify that, it's going to minus 5 over 3, x cubed, minus 5x squared plus c. And the last but not least, this is the hardest of the lot. You have to expand this expansion first. So you're going to be 15x squared minus 3x minus 20x plus 4dx. Then you're going to integrate now, okay? When you integrate it, you're going to be 15. No, you simplify that first. It's going to be... You still simplify because there's a like term there. 15x squared minus 23x plus 4. 
And then the last step, you're going to get rid of the integration sign and you integrate them. It's going to be 15x cubed over 3 minus 23x squared over 2 plus 4x plus c. Simplify them, it's going to be 5x cubed minus 23 over 2x squared plus 4x plus c. And that is how you integrate a two bracket function. So hopefully you learned something today. And if you have any question, just leave in the comment below and see you soon.